All right, today I'm going to be crushing apple seeds in order to see if I can extract cyanide from them. So I'm doing this video because a little bit ago I crushed apples to make apple juice in my hydraulic press and there were a lot of comments in the comment section that said you shouldn't drink that apple juice because it probably has cyanide in it because apple seeds have cyanide in them. So I had heard that too and I looked up some stuff on it. A lot of stuff says that you're fine because in there's not a lot of cyanide in apple seeds and even so the cyanide is under the shell of the apple seed so when you eat apples it doesn't matter because they don't get digested so um, you don't get the cyanide but I crushed it in my hydraulic press and so the apple seeds that did get flattened got crushed open so what I did is I bought a cyanide testing kit and I'm going to crush these apple seeds and then test if this amount of apple seeds would give me cyanide poisoning. Okay, here are our apple seeds. Let's crush them first and then test them and see if how much cyanide I'd get when I drank the apple juice. Okay, apple seeds crushed by hydraulic press to extract cyanide. Three, two, one. squeezing out right there. Okay. Let's open it up. Okay, I want that apple seed juice. Okay, so that's what I want right there. Let's see how much cyanide is in this. Okay, so I'm going to squirt some water on this. Okay, then I'm gonna suck all this back up as best I can. Okay, shall we see if there's any cyanide in our apple seeds? So this is my control here. We know that this one shouldn't have cyanide in it. So it should be white according to this chart here. So this is the strip colors. So this is greater than 10 parts per million. White down here is less than 0.1 parts per million. The, low, the highest amount that you should have in um, your water is 0.2 parts per million. So here's my tap water one. You can see that it is white. So it looks like there's no cyanide in my drinking water, which is, that's good news, huh? Okay, for the moment of truth now. Uh-oh, <laughs> that immediately turned blue, wow. <laughs> wow, I didn't expect that. Looks like I've been eating cyanide my whole life. Look at that, <laughs> that's pure blue. Okay, on our test chart here, that's, that is dark blue. I'd say that's greater than 10 parts per million. <laughs> wow. Okay, so this test kit, it had two methods to test. You can look at the strip, and then after about 15, 30 minutes, you can also look at the color of the cuvette, and you can see it's just dark blue. So we know for sure this has more than 10 parts per million of cyanide in it. Um, I know that around 270 parts per million of hydrogen cyanide is enough to be lethal. So this scale only went up to 10 parts per million, but it's getting on the same order of a lethal dose of hydrogen cyanide. So I think I'm gonna reconsider chewing up apple seeds after this. I'm actually quite surprised by this. I didn't, I didn't think it would be so high. Another thing to consider though, that this is actually a very concentrated sample of um, cyanide from the apple seeds because normally if you chewed up apples and chewed up the seeds with them it would go into your stomach which has a lot bigger volume so it would mix with that volume and you'd have a lot less concentration but this I just had a little tiny bit of water around one milliliter and added it to that and so 
I concentrated the effect of the cyanide in it. So this is worst case scenario. Looks like worst case scenario could be quite dangerous with apple seeds. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of Hydraulic Press Action. If you enjoyed this video and you haven't subscribed yet, remember to hit subscribe. And you can comment in the comment section with anything you'd like to see get crushed next time. And I'll see you next time.